Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is my tanning routine. So before anybody asks, no, that is not ringworm, that is a sticker mark from when I was in hospital and they were monitoring my heart and it just hasn't gone away yet, even though I exfoliate. I'm demonstrating me exfoliating. I would normally do this in the shower, obviously, and I just use like one of those exfoliating mitts from Boots or Superdrug. So I have been using and loving this new liquid gold foam from Bondi Sands. If you saw my previous video, you will know that I love the liquid gold oil and the fact that they've come out with a foam is amazing so I've been loving it and they actually got in contact with me because I've been loving it so much and asked if I wanted to do a sponsored video and of course I said yes I can show receipts I have bought this product myself from Boots and Superdrug so yeah anyway first of all well one I have lines on my stomach so if I see anyone commenting that I'm gonna be like everyone has lines when they've been sat down you know um so you do want to make sure you exfoliate and you want to make sure you moisturize the areas that tan normally gathers in. So it mines my elbows, my knees, my hands, and my ankles. So I always make sure to use a bit of moisturizer on those areas just to make it a little bit more slippery so the tan doesn't stick. So I'm using the Bondi Sands Tanning Mitt. I've used this mitt for years. I literally love it. I feel like it's a good investment to make when you buy and purchase a good tanning mitt. I can just throw this in my washing machine when it needs a wash and it's like brand new all over again. I always work from the bottom to the top when I'm tanning and I use about three pumps each time I pump it onto the mitt and I work in circular motions because I feel like this really buffs it in. It's kind of like self-explanatory when it comes to tan. You just need to buff it in really well and just make sure all the areas are even and it doesn't really matter if you do if it starts drying like a little bit patchy because as long as you've gone over that area with the mitt once you wash it off in the shower it'll be totally fine look at my little booty <laughs> i really need to get back on my booty plan i'll also leave a link to my booty plan that i'm doing down below if you are wondering um getting summer shreddy ready and then yeah so i use about two pumps on my arms because i don't want it too dark and i don't go over my hands just yet I make sure to get my chest over my boobs, up my neck, um, just with a mitt normally. And then for my hands, I like to do something a little bit different just so my hands aren't super dark. So what I normally do is grab a, a couple of pumps of mousse on the mitt. I grab a cup, well, a pump of moisturizer onto the mitt also. I mix it together with just like a face buffing brush just any brush is fine and then I put it all over my hands I go in between my fingers and then around the edge of my hands on the inner part by like my um palm I also do the same thing for my face as well because I do like to have a tanned face but I don't want it to be super dark or drying I don't tan my face all the time I only do it when I need to do it and then I'll dry off for a second and then pop on my pajamas I like wearing like long sleeve silky pajama tops and then just like long leg pajama bottoms and then I pop a towel onto my pillow so I don't get tan all over my bedding and then I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up in the morning I'll have a shower and wash it off and voila like look at that color also my hands aren't super dark they're just kind of natural my face is natural as well look at that bloat it's gone <laughs> I love the morning so much but yeah as you can see the tan is amazing it looks like a natural tan this is like my natural tanning color so it's perfect for me it's like an olive v undertone um, oh god, I'm still tired. <laughs> I also find that it develops a little bit more throughout the day, the day after you've tanned, so I'm not complaining. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you did enjoy this updated tanning routine, and until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon.